I'm so excited. Got a new bag. I am so excited. I got this new bag from Dior and I have been waiting, just waiting to do this unboxing with you. And I just couldn't wait any longer. I was like, we gotta do it today so I can rock her tomorrow. If you wanna see this video, stay tuned. Hey friends, welcome to my channel, Simply Fabulux where I like to discuss luxury goods and items, lifestyle, and I really try to sprinkle in a few tips or advice that I've learned and just share it with you. So today I have a very special video that I'm so excited and been waiting to share with you guys. So I am so glad to share this with you and do an unboxing. So let's see what I got. This is the Dior purchase that I made and I've really been waiting to do this unboxing with you guys. So I'm excited to dig in. Now I can just give you a few hints, you know, that it is from their latest capsule collection. And let's just say Barbie. I'm going to open her up and we'll go into all the details you know, what fits inside, all the good stuff. Okay. Ooh, they tied it kind of long. All right, let's open her up. Let's see. Yeah, receipt, return label. And then you get a note from, I put a special little note there. And then the notes from, a note from the house of Dior in here as well. So that's nice. Just the regular documentation you get when you, you know, make a purchase. Okay, let's open this. Get the bag out. It's a small one, guys. Of course, you know, I have to go small. And then let's also just go ahead and get out the straps. The straps out now. I'm not gonna confuse this for tissue because I know for the last unboxing that I did, I thought the straps were tissue. So, and then this comes with two straps. So we're going to unwrap all this. So I'm excited. Yeah. So let me just put the box away so I can do a proper showing of the bag and the straps. I did decide to go with a Lady Dijoy because I do not have that in my collection. And I went with a micro. And the reason I decided to go with a micro is because I heard your phone can fit inside. So I was like, okay. That sold me. It's small and my phone can fit inside. Not that I mind carrying my phone, but if it could fit in my bag, that's just a bonus. All right, so she's in this beautiful pink color, like a candy pink. Love it. And it still has the champagne gold hardware that you know, most of the Dior bags have. And it has the CD, hopefully you can see that, <laughs> on the front of the bag, or really on all of the hardware, it has CD. Even on the back, it will have C and D. Then it has the charms. So let's take off this little baggie. We'll take off the bag. And of course, it has your D, I, and R there with the O on the back. All right. And I like how they put like a little velvet cover there when they ship it to you. So I like how they kind of keep it packaged and nice until you receive it. One of the pluses of the Lady Dijoy 
it falls all the way to the sides. So if you're wearing it under your shoulder or something, like just wearing with the shoulder strap and it has to go like under here, it's not sticking up. Also, one of the designs that I noticed is usually on Lady Dior's, like the inside of the handle will be flat. So this one is round, which is nice. Like it's round on the outside of the perimeter of the handle and also on the inside. So they're round. And I love how this is like a, although it's a bubblegum pink, but it's like giving me Barbie vibes, especially now. <laughs> with Barbie core and you know that being such a big fashion color and the movie so it's definitely giving me Barbie and I'm here for it I'm here for all things Barbie okay now let's get on the inside so the inside has this nice suede feeling which just like my um, actual other Dior's where it's like suede lining. Oh, and they put a nice felt in here to protect the lining card of authenticity. Yeah, this has to be. Yep, and I was right. Just a little tag on there <laughs> from Dior because this was an online purchase because I believe I went to two of my boutiques and they did not have the micro Lady DeJoy in stock. They were like, oh, you just have to like order it online or we can send you a link to get it online. But no one had it in store. Like, even if I just wanted to look at it, cause I went to the store to like, just look at the color. Cause at the time, all they had was the small, or that medium? No, I think it's small, yeah. Cause you know, they have like the medium size, a small size for DeJoy. Um, a mini and then this is the micro so the small was actually pretty large although I liked it I was just like oh I wish it came in the mini because the mini is like a size up from this I would have took a mini but since I did not have it not in this beautiful shade of pink I took it in the micro so I was like okay and the micro still will hold my essentials very cute definitely give me tiny bag energy <laughs> that's one of my favorite youtubers would say now this bag has tissue in there so don't mind that but it does not have any pockets um, on the inside I guess because it really is small I'm sure that's not a pocket yeah no pockets so if you're looking for a bag with like extra pockets or storage the micro DJs do not have them. And then the test, even though I know it will fit, is that will this phone fit in the bag? And yes, it will comfortably. No forcing it, no stretching it out. And then I still have room for my lip gloss and ID. So yeah, that's why I was like, this is perfect. Again, I was so excited when the phone fit. I was like, wait, a tiny bag that not only holds my holy trinity, which is my lip gloss, my ID, and a form of payment, but now, now I can have to hold my phone. Thank you. Thank you, Dior. <laughs> and I feel like I've actually kind of missed out because I believe someone else told me that the micro lady DeJoy's hold a phone, but I was like, mm, I don't believe it, <laughs> but it actually does. My phone is the Galaxy 23. I don't have an iPhone, so I cannot speak for iPhones, but if you have a Galaxy 23, just a regular, I'm not sure if you have like that max size that your phone would fit because if my phone was maybe just a few centimeters longer, it wouldn't fit here. Like it fits like just perfect in this bag. Let's get into these straps. When you get a Lady Joy, you get two straps, which is awesome. 
so the shorter strap is so it's for your uh shoulder of course <laughs> but it hangs a little bit higher up so if you just want it like under your arm right next to your ribs okay your rib cage <laughs> that's where this is gonna be and i will try it on and let you guys see so you can see that let me open this up so yeah here is the strap you get it's in the same color as the bag which is like that nice bubble gum pink color i don't know the exact name of this color let's see if it says it on the bag oh it just says light pink so it comes in a light pink <laughs> color same leather that's going to be on the shoulder strap and then it has again the champagne gold hardware on the strap and then the strap does have like on the clasps here c and d so hopefully I can show that to you. Yes, hopefully it focused. <laughs> and let's open up the second strap. So this one's gonna be the longer strap. I believe this strap is all leather material, but we're gonna see it right now. They put a lot of tissue on this <laughs> to keep it secure and clean. Alrighty, I got her out of the packaging. So yes, again, this is the same leather material as the bag. Um, and it's in that light pink shade. So why don't we put this one on first? This is the one that you could wear cross body, um, also on the side of your shoulder. It's adjustable, so if you want to make the strap longer or shorter you can let's see if i can yeah so yeah it has like the belt loop holes there so if you need to make this shorter or longer you can do that and then like the buckle is in the champagne gold color as well so let's put her on the good thing about this bag is it comes with little D rings for you to attach your two different straps onto. These are the D rings or one of the D rings that you can attach the leather strap or shoulder strap to. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm noticing that it's best to attach the straps with the actual flap of the bag open yes so let you do it on a little bit better there we go so yep this is the bag with the long strap on and i'll insert a photo of me trying on the bag so you can see this bag with me cross body wearing it the strap across my body which is how I normally like to wear my bags. And then I'll also insert a shot of me wearing it on my side of my shoulder. Um, so sometimes I'll wear it like that, but normally I will wear it again crossbody. But you have the option with the strap to wear it on the side of your shoulder or across your body. And then again, like I said, the handles go all the way down so you don't have to worry about <laughs> the handles going um, like sticking you or bothering you too much because they will be all the way down yep let's try on the shorter strap You know, I'm really liking this shorter chain because it has like that paper clip design to it that I'm like feeling right now. I know it's been out for a while, but I like the detail on this strap, the shorter strap. I know some people are not a big fan of the shorter strap, but I like it. All right. 
Okay, so again, a tip for this bag. If you want to attach or detach the handles on this bag, it is best to open her, open the bag, and then, you know, take off the straps or add the straps. And guys, I have to apologize. I keep like looking off. I have like a new setup. <laughs> so I'm trying to still get like used to make sure the setup's okay. Now, I did not purchase a bag organizer for this Micro Dijoy just because it might take up a little bit more space and make it harder for my mobile phone to fit inside. So that's why I passed on a bag organizer this time. Normally I do get one, but yeah. Just wanted to make sure I had more real estate to fit all the things and essentials that I needed to carry in this bag. All right, so now let's see what fits inside this micro Lady Dijoy. So, I'm trying to figure out what do I want to put in first? Do, 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 do. Let's go ahead and put in my pouch. This little pouch carries like my ID, a form of payment, and I think that's about it. Yeah. So let's put that in here. Okay. Have some space left. Oh, wait. Before I put this in here, take this out. <laughs> All right, let's put the pouch inside of here. All right, now, okay, I have lip gloss. So, and I normally will try to pick one or the other, because I also have my lip balm. Depending on the day, if I want lip balm or lip gloss, maybe both. Um, then I brought my keys. So let's put in the, let's actually put in the lip balm, because I do like carry a lip balm with me. So let's add this to the bag. So I'm gonna put my phone in. So I always set the room for the phone. All right, phone fits in there, lip balm fits in there. Let's see if my keys will fit. Cause I think, hold on. I ha see I have room for like another lip gloss. So I'm gonna put another, <laughs> another lip gloss inside. Yep, have space. Oh, you know what, I'll try to, Sit it up, but it won't fit if I sit it up. Actually it will, but it'll kind of stretch it. Mm, no, let's try the one I always carry to, my little micro <laughs> lip addict gloss. So I'm gonna put that in there. And of course we know this is gonna fit, it fits. And then let's try to see if my keys will fit inside. Keys are kind of mm, making it not want to fit unless I do it this way. Hold on. It's almost like Tetris, like a little jigsaw puzzle. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. It's, what's hindering me is this ring, the key ring. I can find a way to put that in. Oh, okay. I think I got it in. No, no. Let's see. Oh. All right, I got my keys in. <gasps> oh wait, got a little too ecstatic. Well, yeah. I got it in. I got in my keys. <laughs> the keys are inside. <laughs> and it looks like this. So it's not like bulging out. I wonder if I could go lower. No, I think that's it. Now I have just kind of looking at it. I would put my phone towards the back of the bag and then stuff everything in the front. I put my phone in the front. So that might be, yeah. That might be better. But if it's phone, keys, you know, lip glosses, 
Yes, two. Now one is tiny <laughs> and the other one's kind of like a regular size lip balm. Um, and then what else do I have? Oh, and I have a little key pouch. So that has like ID, you know, form of payments in here. Yeah. I don't like the way it kind of, you know what? Let me put the phone towards the back of the bag. I'm gonna rearrange this, see if it looks better. Taking out my keys, lip gloss, sis. The little key pouch, phone. All right, so we're gonna put the phone in first. That's, I think, the trick. Put the phone in first. And we're gonna put horror. The, we're gonna put the phone towards the back of the bag like this so you have like a little slotted space to put a little bit more things put in my little coin zippy wallet type of thing right here actually you know what? I'm gonna turn her around yes okay lip gloss or lip balm and then, yeah, I wish this would fit in here. Let's see. No, it just stands up too high. This would have to be, this can fit in here, this um, travel size lip gloss from MAC, but it would have to like be uh, lay on the side. It couldn't stand up. Like the rest of the stuff can stand up. So if I want to maybe carry this, and then the lip balm that will fit in here or let's see okay the spray atomizer will also fit in here it's just like a little mini spray atomizer that i have like my favorite fragrance in that i'm wearing right now i like that so you got to choose do you want to smell good or do you want an extra lip product in here one or the other now let's try the keys again. With the keys in here, it still fits. I don't know, it looks like it's okay. It gives a little, like just a little bit of like bulginess to me. It might not look like anything to you guys. But I mean, it fits. The flap closes. It's not gonna stick out. So yes, I have my phone, keys, lip gloss. You can fit one or the other. You got two lip glosses or a lip gloss and fragrance atomizer or a fragrance sample could fit in here. The keys, phone, fragrances. Oh, and then my little like wallet that has my ID and my form of payment. It's also in here, so. Wow, I'm good to go. Now who knew a tiny bag can fit my essentials like even better than it was fitting before? Like this east to west design, I love it. It's giving everything. Okay, I might need to invest in some more, but I have been looking at those small ones. So if one, gets released in the color that I love. I might just, I might just pull the trigger guys. I might just pull the trigger. And you will know because I will do the unboxing here on my channel. Yes, oh yes, I love this. <gasps> it fits my keys, my phone, the Holy Trinity, and a little bit more. Okay, okay Dior. You did it, you did it. <laughs> now, do you wanna know if this bag is worth it? Especially with like the price increases. I have to say that I did buy this before the price increase only because my SA did tell me, hey, there's a price increase, Tatiana. So if you wanna get the bag, that you've been eyeing. I know you've been wanting like another Lady Dior, Dijoy. It's gonna go up a little bit. So just let you know, and not a rush, just information for you to have. 
and I was like, you know what? I appreciate that because I am going to pull the trigger before the prices go up. So yes, I can't. Oh, I really like this. I like this new addition. I don't own a pink bag. This will be my first pink bag, which I think. Do I have any pink bags? No. Yeah, I don't have any pink bags. Wow. Yeah, I really always stick to like basic colors of like having a black or having a white. Never having a pink. Not like an all one color bag. This is my first, my first micro de joy and my first pink colored bag. Back to the question. Is this micro de joy worth it? Yes. In my opinion, yes. Yes, if you're into tiny bags, micro bags, nano bags. Yes, if you only need to keep your essentials, you know, maybe a key fob, a phone, a lip gloss, ID, some form of payment in a bag. That's it. Essentials, yes. Love it. Love of it. Definitely to me. I think it's worth it. Again, you get it in this nice, oh, I didn't tell you what kind of, you know, material this is. This is the um, canage, and I wanna say the lamb skin. Let me make sure in the back. This is lamb skin. So it's one thing that I have learned about Lady Dior bags, their lamb skin is actually a lot more durable than other lamb skin bags that I've known. So that's a good thing. Like in my opinion to know that, okay, although it's a lamb skin, which you can think can be a little bit delicate, not saying that you can just throw this bag around and you just wear, but to know that the durability level is just a little bit higher than your usual, gives you a bit of a peace of mind. I would say this is all that I have for you today. Thank you for watching my unboxing of this beautiful micro Lady Dijoy. I'm going to just love having her as a part of my bags or bag collection. And I'll get some great use out of this, especially now that it's Barbie season, you know? Thank you. Thank you for watching my channel. I'm always just so glad to see the support and people really enjoying the content that I produce. If you enjoyed this video today, please give me a thumbs up, you know, like it, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to be notified on when I'll drop the next video, hit the notification bell. It will let you know as soon as I upload a new video. So again, I will See you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.